guy named BJ Bonnie Hunter. You seen his interviews? Oh yeah. He like man, you know Chris Brown ain't no real bloods. They just this this. What what you what you feel about him? Just like it 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 make sometimes y'all make it seem not you but L.A. guys or California guys. Period. They make it seem like if you're a celebrity, you you're not a real blood. Like I don't get it. I mean, people, everybody, that's one thing about it. Everybody entitled to their own opinion, bro. So I can't knock another man for saying whatever he feel like saying about another man. Now, when I look at stuff like that, you got to talk to people, homies. I seen an interview with Compton Minutes. He, he, he supported and embraced um, Chris Brown. So it's like, how can I tell somebody from another area that your homie ain't really from your hood when you're from there? me so that's just me personally i just you know um I, I don't be like that's another thing too bro like you gotta think if i was more in the entertainment industry i'd probably pay that shit more attention but bro i still got a job i still i'm still at risk to a whole lot of shit so my focus be on some way you feel me i'm not i'm not an entertainer in a i'm not in that realm so a gang of shit i wouldn't even i pass right up i'll be on youtube and you feel me pass that shit right up because that ain't my life yet bro I'm trying to get in a better place where I got some input because I know these people, but right now that ain't my life, bro. So I don't even be, you feel me? I don't know uh BJ or um um Chris Brown. I ain't never even been in the same room with them dudes. So I ain't, you know, I ain't I heard him say that, that the bounty hunter bloods was the most aggressive blood I said. Do you agree? Man, I'm not gonna never agree with that, but they they up there though. I ain't, ain't gonna lie, I'm just keeping it one thousand. They up there. They up here, top three or five. Yeah, for sure. Uh, outside, you you swine family or what was it? Swine. It's all the same. All that's the same thing. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, outside, outside of your your set, what would you say the most aggressive blood set is? Like just something every other week, killing, shootings, fights. I don't even stuff. go off that. I just go off the. Uh, I go off the. Um, the essence, no. bro. I'm gonna go off the I go off the essence because everybody got suckers from their hood, everybody got gangs from their hood. But the essence, when you count the people that's really from these areas, on average, how these people is and how they was raised, bro. And I'm gonna keep it real. Like growing up as a kid, bro, going through juvenile hall, like they was similar, like how the, I don't, I'm a person I don't gotta talk about where I'm from because they gon' it's it's already in the they, they'll tell you about it. I ain't got a word, they ain't they gonna tell you about it, it ain't gonna be no lie, they're gonna tell you about it. They like got the similar, the similar type of West name, bro. Like they like a lot of people, especially when you get throwing them in these jails, they be like real quiet, especially back then. You was going off top. The bloods was gonna be short, bro. But that's one thing you knew. If you was around somebody that was from, 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 from off the east side, or they on the east side like this, bro, we gonna we gonna fight, bro. And we gonna be ready. We ain't we gonna fight, bro. That's what, <laughs> we gonna fight, bro. And them dudes. I done been around some dudes. They didn't have my bag before, bro. They they sell it, bro. Mm -hmm. do, do bloods in California, do they beef with each other? I mean, I'm bro, it's or a lot of shit going on. Now, it's we can't when you say in California, I'm not from California. I'm from South Central, so I can't tell you what they be doing in Sacramento or San Diego or West. I'm not from them um them places. I'm just from L.A., bro. Mm. What well, what well, well, your area or L.A. just period like they beef yeah. or we don't we don't engage where I'm from. We don't engage in, in um in none of that type of stuff. But right now, overall in L.A., we all getting along right now because people everybody know, bro. For one, like I told you in that post, bro. Anti oppression, bro. Anti oppression. It all started out in being righteous and anti-oppression. So that's what we that's what that's what we stand on, bro. And everybody getting along, everybody they doing a lot of community events, basketball games, like they really put some peace, bro. Like you gotta have peace with yourself before you can even try to uh, uh approach somebody else about peace, bro. So everybody getting along. That's what people are doing right now. I, I asked you this before, but I, I didn't really get detail from it. Uh you might know this. Can I be Pyro without being blood? There ain't no such thing. I mean, it ain't no such thing, but you know, bro, and yeah, ain't no such thing. Oh, damn. Okay, okay. I, I seen uh, 
like I said, I seen Whack One Hundred say like I'm Paru, I ain't blood. So I'm like, okay, maybe. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know, but a lot of people, um, a lot of, a lot of people, and then I ain't say because you didn't, you try to, you be trying to, uh, your interviews, bro. You got me crossed up last time, bro. The next you ask a question, bro. You almost had me in a, in an internet beat, bro. Like, and this okay. ain't even nothing against Whack One Hundred. I don't know, I don't know, bro. But a lot of people got their own opinions, like off what what's your name? I just go off the original how it was what's your name, bro. Like and, and I don't dis I don't um like it's different now, bro. So you gotta ask the young dudes what they doing, bro. I could just speak on where I'm from, my area, bro. We was all united, bro. So that's just how it was, bro. That's just how it was growing up. So but you got other people that I done seen all kind of crazy shit on YouTube, bro. But sometimes people just be wanting a response, bro. That's like a part of the entertainment industry, a response. So if I say this about somebody or say this about something that's like a hot topic, I can get a response from people and that'll be more followers, more engagement, which in, in the end is more money. But all that shit, like, I tell my story in my songs, bro, but the internet gang banging in the West, I don't, bro, I don't even be doing all that type of shit because at the end of the day, my message, I always try to deliver. I'm going to give a real message, bro. And I would never tell somebody right now in 2023, yeah, go sign up and go be a gangbanger because this shit, this shit don't stand for nothing now. If you talk about being righteous and anti-oppression, they going to think you on some, some soft shit. But a nigga that say he don't want peace, a nigga that say he don't want peace, that means you want war. And if you want war, that means you want to lose your homies. And if you want to lose your homies, that means you don't even care about your homies. Because that's what's going to happen. So who don't want peace? And I'm not talking about the fake peace that people come where they want to go party with the ops. And are we talking about real peace, bro? Peace, being able to walk up and down the street without being in fear for your life, bro. Without innocent bystanders getting injured in some shit that ain't got nothing to do with them, bro. Real peace, bro. Real peace. So who, who don't want peace? A lot of people is willing to kill people because they want peace. Feel me? I don't want to be oppressed, bro. I don't want to be oppressed. I don't want you coming over here thinking you can you feel me? I don't, I don't want to be oppressed. I stand for righteousness, bro. I'm from where I'm from, and I never will disassociate myself with where I'm from. But I'm about righteousness, bro, and I'm about anti-oppression, bro. 